Hello, my friends, my family, and my followers. It's Hike 360 here. I'm here to give you a new hike this week. Hello, my friends, my family, and my followers. You know who it is. It's Hike 360. I am doing a really awesome hike today. I'm in Palm Springs, California, and uh, you know I've I've been here on and off for the last two and a half, uh, one and a half, two months. Uh, door dashing and exploring the area and being in the desert. It's right by Joshua Tree. So today I'm doing the Cactus to Clouds hike, which will take me from downtown Palm Springs to the summit of uh, Mount San Jacinto. Uh, we're looking at 10,800 feet of elevation on this hike and 21 miles. So I'm about one mile in and I came across my first little random awesomeness so uh there are uh, dumbbells and a pull-up bar just on the mountain so that is really funny uh as you can see it, it's like four in the morning right now uh we got all the the city lights on and And uh, I think it's really funny that this is here. So I'll crank out a couple reps on the, the dumbbells here and uh, see if I can do a pull up and continue with my hike. Uh, we got 20 miles to go. All right, let's take a quick minute to catch the hues of red that are coming from the sunrise. Uh, the thoughts going through my head right now are, it, it's just, it's amazing how much I realize how much I needed this hike as I'm hiking it. I, I'm doing this because I need some grounding right now, um, some grounding to finish the year and start the new year and um, using my body running and hiking and being in nature, it's my biggest go-to for, for grounding, just getting into my body in those ways. And so the thoughts going through my head is just how important it is to, to disconnect from, from society every once in a while. I, uh, to be on the side of a mountain looking at the, the grid of the city is, It just it it helps put things it helps puts helps put things into perspective, um, which is important to me because a lot of my time is spent door dashing in cities, you know, looking at my phone and doing all that comes with the hustle and bustle of making money and surviving and. So again, to just be on the side of a mountain and kind of disconnected from that um, is is allowing me to reflect and uh, ground myself and, and gain perspective on on things and where I'm at right now. And well, that's the beauty of of getting out into nature. So, all right, epic colors happening. I'm like little under two and a half hours into my hike. All right, so it is daytime, the sun is out. It's about 7.30 in the morning. I am just starting to get my first view of the other side of the mountain. So, you know, I started in downtown Palm Springs and I've been looking at um, Mount San Jacinto and, and this mountain range um, from that side for a while now. Uh, and this is my first time seeing the other side and it's it's quite lovely but i am doing better than a one point one and a half mile per hour pace so if i continue to do better than that then well i should be able to finish this thing 
uh, 4,500 feet of ascent and six and a half miles. We're more than a quarter done. Almost, almost halfway done for elevation. All right, so I finished the first half of this Cactus to Cloud hike. Uh, the first half takes place on the Sunrise Trail. Uh, I just did 11 miles and eight and a half thousand feet of ascent. And that brought me to Long Valley, which is where the Palm Springs Aerial Tram brings you to. So there's lots of families here, picnic tables and opportunities to camp and some other trails. I'm standing outside the Long Valley Ranger Station where I talked to the ranger. And uh, he is highly recommending, suggesting that if I'm going to do the peak to have spikes. Um, now, I've heard him say, give that spiel to everybody. But um, it's about five and a half miles and... 2,000 feet up to get to the to the peak. Uh, I did have to fill out a permit, so they know that I'm out here. I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna see how far I get. I really want to get to the peak, so that's where I'm at right now. Let's see if I can do this thing. Yo, I'm 2.7 miles away from the summit of Mount San Jacinto. I'm currently traversing uh, a section of this trail, of the peak trail, that is a mile long and 700 feet of ascent that the ranger was warning me about. So, um, you know, it's, it's easier going up than it is going down. Going down will be the harder part. But anyways, we got some great views. We are really high up right now. 9,600 feet above sea level. And I'm like 15 miles into the hike. been hiking for I think about nine or nine and a half hours and yeah man I'm going for it I'm on a mission I came here to to get to the peak and it's not a lot that can stop me maybe a bobcat or maybe some insane switchback that requires maneuvers that I lack. I doubt that that's going to be the case though. All right, I'm tired of talking. So I'll see you guys at the top. All right, I am standing at the summit of Mount San Jacinto, uh, 10,800 feet later and uh, probably like 16 and a half, 17 miles. I've still got six miles to go back to the tram line. To take me back to society. But uh, yeah, absolutely gorgeous. And uh, just an absolutely incredible trail and hike. Definitely do your research and prepare yourself for an extremely strenuous time. Uh, I've been at it for like 11 hours, but uh, yeah, I'm really, I feel like I'm really wrapping up Palm Springs with this San Jacinto summit. That feels really good because I've spent a lot of time in Palm Springs now and I don't feel like I need to return for any big reasons. So yeah. That's all I got. I'll probably do a video in the tram on the way down. And yeah, thanks for tuning in. Like and subscribe. We'll catch you later. Peace. Well, the hike just never ends. 
I'm at the tram station, the mountain tram station, and they have uh, a sky deck. That's where I am now. And it just so happens that the sun is setting, giving off this cotton candy pink and blue vibe. And uh, it's lovely. What a, what a fantastic way to end. Um,